I'm coming at you from my swing, which has been in my daughter's room, but I brought it out here to sit in. Um, but, so I'm reading Plastic Monsters for the Midnight Society Book Club, um, which I'll be part of the live show, which has already aired because my vlogs go a week late. But I wanted to say, <laughs> you know what? I don't know what I want to say, but I do know, like, there's so this is split up into two parts maybe there's a part three i don't know but at the beginning of part one it talks about her high school life and what that was like for her and how the mean girl um did like something really traumatizing during gym class uh when they were in the showers um opened it and everybody was in the locker room all the girls were looking at her and judging her body and talking really badly about it so kind of as that first part goes on she's grown now I think she's in her 30s and so obsessed with looking perfect and beautiful and in my eyes I picture her as not being ugly because which, what, what, what does that even look like? Is it the what society tells me is ugly? Because whatever, you know. So I do, I like that sort of like her obsession with it and how far she's willing to go. And so part one really establishes that. She, um, she does some very not advisable things to look a certain way just in part one she hasn't even met the doctor yet and I won't I'm I'm just gonna wait until the end of the book and figure out my thoughts on that whole situation <laughs> Whenever you have this evil, disgusting, piece of shit man telling you that you are sick and you need help, <laughs> what? Okay, but now she's like, you can't judge me. Like, you can't tell me I need help. Um, but yeah. I'll have the the live show linked down below when this vlog goes up. It will have been a week later. I'm putting tabs on things. Sometimes, you know, it's things that make me laugh or things that make me go, holy shit, that's really fucked up. Um, there's no color coordination. I just reach for whatever I have. In the first part where it is talking about her high school, like her trauma with high school and mean girls. It also gives a, a glimpse into what life at home was like with her mom. And her mom is the same way, obsessed with beauty. And it's just kind of sad. Like that, that, that first bit um, before chapter one just kind of really made me sad. And then it has something, this book has something that I really like which is a person's mental degradation, them picturing um, gruesome things happening to the person that they're talking to or whatever, like the, the girl at work that is kind of her mean girl. It's the same, but just they're older and at work. It's not the same girl, but it's that same concept. It's a mean girl who's, you know, comments on her looks and is like, oh, you look tired. So whenever she's talking to her, she's kind of like thinking like, 
of stabbing her or choking her or whatever. And I don't know. I just feel like that. I don't want to say that I like that, but I like it um, as an insight into the character's psyche. Okay, so we know what we're ramping up to. And let's see, I'm about halfway through. I'm on page 80. But yeah, so I need to drink some coffee and finish this. Um, it's a really quick read. The font is rather large, so, and it's a short little book, so, um, I think that I could finish it fairly soon, and I will just, um, kind of figure out my thoughts once I'm done, and so I can, like, be coherently speaking on the live show. God, I hope I don't embarrass myself. Anyway, so, yeah. I'm gonna swing in my swing and drink my coffee in my NASA cup. Gotta rep NASA. And so, oh, oh, I haven't updated the vlog yet about Astrid Parker Doesn't Fail. I finished it. If you're on my Instagram, you know I was cutting it real close because it was due in three hours. And I think I had like two hours and 50 minutes left. So I ramped that speed up. And I finished it before it had to be returned. And I did, I really liked it, but I still think Delilah Green was my favorite of the two. Honestly, I like, I really like them both, and I'll read the third one. Also, I really like when Joe calls Astrid Parker. Like, it's a cute little nickname, but it's also her last name. And I also love the name Parker. Like Parker Posey, hello, we love her. Okay, so now at this point I'm just rambling and putting off doing any thing productive. Um, ignore this. Ah. I mean, Regina George got hit by a bus, so.
I ended up never making this cake on this day. I put all this stuff back and then I made it the next day. And now I can't find a picture of the cake after I made it. So just believe me that it was fucking delicious. Good morning. So I have the live show for Plastic Monsters today, and I'm so nervous. <laughs> um, I was talking to my sister last night, and I was like, how do I talk about a book where <laughs> the guy and I'm going to have to bleep that out. New <laughs> achievement unlocked. But if you've read it, you know. And I'm like, how am I supposed to talk about this in public? Because these are not topics that you talk about. Amongst company, you read this book, and then if you like it, or whatever, you don't talk about it with others in detail. Vagueness. Okay, so I'm gonna try and do a curly hair routine and hope that it comes out good for the live show. Um, but the next books that have caught my fancy, I actually posted them on Instagram the other day. Um, Woman Eating, Reluctant Immortals, and Horror Store. Those are the three that I think might be like up next for me because, hello, hello, cover so stunning i don't it's just so pretty uh, <laughs> and then this one has been calling to me for ages but i ended up reading the novella by gwendolyn kisty first and i'm kind of really liking it like i, I like her writing um and i think that this got announced that it was part of the Bram Stoker Awards. My ploop, my ploop is falling, my plop. Um, but yeah, I think that this got nominated for a Bram Stoker Award, so congrats to Gwendolyn. And then of course, I've been posting about this on Instagram Horror Store, so interesting. I have the audio too um, on Scribd or, or Audible Plus. Let's finish this. I think I have like 10 pages left. Oh my God. I just realized that this is blurbed by Stephen Graham Jones. Hello. And I just licked it. This is chaos. All right, let's read Plastic Monsters, or let's finish it, and then try to figure out what I think about it. Also, to just like keep the weirdness theme going, I have Twin Peaks playing in the background. You can't can't really see it. Okay, so I just did my makeup and I'm writing out my thoughts on plastic monsters because I'm still trying to figure out exactly, I don't know what my star rating is, so I'm trying to write out my thoughts. I took a speech class last year and I want to be able, I can't remember what it's called, extemporane, extempor, ex, yeah, extemporaneous speech so that it doesn't sound rehearsed. So I just want to have bullet points so that when I'm talking on the live, I um, can have sort of a, a roadmap, I suppose.
Oh, okay. Joke. Um, I guess I'll get pasta. Hello, everybody. Welcome hi, to the second hi. Midnight Society Book Club meeting. Uh, we're going to be talking about plastic monsters today. I have two lovely guests with me, as you can see. Um, first of all, we have Jess and we have Megan. Megan wasn't sure if she was going to make it, so I didn't want to announce it, uh, but I did put her on the thumbnail. Both of them are linked down below. Go subscribe to their channels if you haven't already. They're both fantastic. I think, Jess, your channel is pretty new, right? I just started like a month ago. Cool, cool. All right, so since March is coming up, I thought I would show you a glimpse at my February calendar and then show you how I make my calendar on OneNote. I have this template that I made a long time ago and I like changing the colors up. I could just keep all of that stuff on there and the dots and stuff, but I like to make a different color every month. And so I just go through and write all the the dates and whatnot and I'll keep the dates from the last month at the top so then I can kind of switch over during that last week. And then I like to go through and write my upload schedule so every Wednesday and Saturday is when I try to uh, get my videos up and that's just sort of a visual reminder and then for this calendar I'll also use um, it to keep track of my reading so anytime I read a book it'll I'll write it down on that day and then these are my upload days so I can write down what video ideas I have uh, to upload on that day Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and check out some of my other videos. Bye!